Hello, my fellow Limitless HBICs. How you doing on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? How's life? Poop's feeling fancy. We just came inside. Um, if you need help figuring out what's going on between you and your manifestation, you need help to have someone, you know, zhuzh you and really zhuzh you, feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. I can give you some extra loving, some extra judging. Yes. Uh, all of my coaching info is in the Dropbox below and it went, went just right across the screen. I also have a channel membership where we uh, get together live every single Tuesday, usually 9 p.m. Eastern, <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Um, where we do judgings, no old stories, but judgings. Um, yeah, we don't want old stories. We don't want circumstances. We want judgings. We want to hear about successes, tips, tricks, movement, things like that. Those are su successes, but uh, we don't want old stories. There's a way to discuss manifestation without old story. Okay. Um. I also go live on most Wednesdays. What else? Instagram, TikTok, I'm everywhere. That's enough selling myself. Let's talk. Let's talk. Okay, I received an email the other day and it was a question in regards to a video that another creator put up. Clearly, I'm not going to name the creator. I don't know this creator. I know them now because of the, the, the email. And this person was concerned. They had been very upset with the video um, that this creator put up. I don't think it was that creator's intention was to make anybody cry or get upset. I don't think this person was malicious. Um, but I'm bringing it up because it's an important topic. I brought it up in my live stream the other day. And I'm going to bring it up again now. And then we're going to dive into things. Things. Um... When I hear about detachment and obsession when it comes to manifestation, depending on how it's being discussed, I can figure out pretty quick what's going on within the coach or video creator in those moments. Or I can kind of gauge where they've been, meaning did they come from law of attraction to here, blah, blah, blah. Um... And the concern with this email was this creator was saying that you need to stop obsessing over your manifestation. And if you're not okay with thinking, well, what if it doesn't happen? And if you're not all right with that, you're too attached, you're too obsessed, and you're never going to manifest if you feel that way. I can't stand to know that someone got upset over that and cried over that because I know what it's like to be the person first finding manifesting and hearing information like that would send me into overdrive. Very upset because what the hell is the point of manifesting if I have to be okay with me not having it? But just hear me out before we hear me out. There's a fine line. There's a fine line. What we need to let go of, and it is the only thing you have to detach from with manifesting. The only thing that you need to detach from with manifesting is seeing yourself as separate from people that you're manifesting the things that you're manifesting. You are not separate from that. You are the God of your reality. You. It's the acknowledgement that you know you are the sole creator of your world, your 3D. And the experiences you have, it is the knowing that it is you doing it. Don't get me wrong. Very normal to <laughs> question that when you first start out. Okay. You do not 
have to let go of your manifestation. You do not have to detach from your manifestation. I think it is a disservice to phrase things like that due to you have no idea where a person is on their journey when they are watching your videos. So I think it is quite foolish to create content like that. That's my opinion. This person can run their channel the way they want. I'm not the boss of their channel. I think what this person's trying to teach, I don't know, I don't know her, is you've got to get to a point where you are letting go of the fears that you're not going to be able to manifest this. You are having those fears from multiple reasons. A, you could have had experiences in your past. Your self-concept could be mm, in the shitter. However, you are most definitely in that moment forgetting who you are. You are forgetting you are the God, the creator, the source energy, whatever you jive with, whatever feels good for you to say. You're forgetting in that moment and that is why you are falling back into fear. But I'm sorry. I don't think it's a necessity for you to uh, uh, think to yourself, oh, I'm going to be okay if I don't get it. So now I can have it. And that's exactly what that teaches. It just does. So if you've heard this message, you don't have to let go of your manifestation. You really don't have to be okay if you can't have it. How does that make any sense in manifesting? You let go of the worrying that you're not going to be able to manifest it. As you work on your journey, you work on your self-concept in relation to what you're manifesting. Your feelings of fear will begin to dissipate. It is a journey. It is a journey. But do I truly feel that you have to get to a point where you don't care if you have your manifestation in order to have your manifestation? No, that doesn't even make sense to me. No. Detachment is thrown around a lot in this community. And I think it's being misused. Because if we have to get to the point of not giving a fuck if we have our manifestation, what is the point of wanting to even manifest it? The idea is for you to realize you were never separate from your manifestations. You are never separate from your person. You are never separate from any of it. It is yours. You just need to know that. Get to the place where you know it's done. It is created. It's yours. But your journey will get you to that point. Relentlessly marinating in the fear of not being able to manifest. Relentlessly. Relentlessly marinating in it. Yes. Can hold things up. Because in that moment, you are not in a state that is beneficial to you. When we... When we allow the 3D to make us feel a type of way about our manifesting abilities, meaning when we let the 3D tell us that we are not master manifestors, when you let the 3D tell you how good you are, how good you get to feel, when you're allowing the 3D or your physical world to control your mindset, at all times. You're missing the point of manifesting. You're forgetting that you are God. And if you want to use like a biblical phrase, I don't know if this is word for word of Neville, but it is serving to masters. It's believing in a false God. The false God being the 3D. When you were continuously swayed back and forth over what's going on in your 3D. You are praising, you are whatever the church words are to the wrong thing. 
It's always turn your sights here, reminding yourself of who you are, what your ability is, which is to manifest whatever the fuck you want. It's sincerely understanding that you really are the God of your reality, no matter how uh, that might make you feel. Cause it used to make me feel like, uh, I don't even like saying it. Cause I, it, whatever. Then fine. You're the creator. You're the source. Choose, choose the word that makes you feel comfortable, but realize it's you. So every time we fall back into disbelief that it's not going to manifest, I don't have control, I'm in fear, those are the moments that you have turned your attention away from your own I am, your own God power, and are giving it back to the 3D. You are believing in the false God. You are trying to serve two masters and you can't. Master of 3D, master of the I am, your creation power your ability to dictate your own state or your own dominant thoughts. You can't serve both. We can have moments because we're humans, but we cannot dominantly be eyes over here all the time falling apart when it's not what we want. Allow your 3D to shift with you because it will. But this ridiculous notion that you have to be okay if you never get it. Like I said, it's the phrasing that's scaring people. It's the phrasing. It's not so much you got to be okay if you don't get it. It's the being okay because you know you are going to get it and there's nothing more to worry about. So you can stop stressing. You can stop stalking their social media and falling apart and being triggered when you see something you don't like. You can stop doing all of that and just be okay with focusing on the having of your manifestation. And when I say focus on having your manifestation, I mean sincerely, what do you think it would feel like if you were finally the version of yourself that has it? Turn your attention to that and your own inside the I am, the God power. Your attention should be here. But no, you don't have to stop thinking. And, and, and for what it's worth, not everyone's view of the word of obsession is the same. So... If a coach says something in the video that does not resonate with you, including me, then don't continue watching that coach or take a break and see if they put up some content you'll like at, at a later date. But if you're not resonating with their message, because they have the right to put up what they want on their channels, we can't control it all. We can manifest. We can manifest these stop making shit videos, but <laughs> who's got time? I ain't got time for that. <laughs> you can do that. But, no, stop worrying that you're thinking about your person too much. Stop worrying that you're obsessing over your manifestation. The only time, honestly, the only time you need to start worrying about when you're thinking about your manifestation is how much time I'm worrying about the not having it about the never going to be able to do this. Maybe I'm not strong enough. That's when you need to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Those thoughts do not line up with me getting what I want. So that's not my reality anymore. I don't partake in a reality where I don't get what I want. I only partake in a reality where I get my shit. So that does not resonate and if a coach's message brings you to the point of tears and not the tears because you actually resonate with what she's saying, it's it makes you so upset because it makes you in fear that you're never going to get what you want. That is your higher self, your own body telling you, no, this one's not for me. This, this one's not for me. Anyway. No shit on the coach because she seems like a nice person, actually. I just think that the message could have been phrased a little differently to not scare people. 
You do not have to detach from your manifestation. You detach from the worrying and doubting. That's what's got to go. When we're worrying and doubting, that is you deciding that you are living in an existence outside of your God power. What I mean by, oh, poop is eaten, so you can hear noises. Um, what I mean by that is when we want to manifest something, the idea is to commit to your manifestation new story. Not what we're seeing in the 3D, even if we're getting opposite results. Even if, if SP is, you know, showing up saying, I'm never coming back, I'm staying with 3P. Even if your bank balance is negative. I know we still got to exist within our 3D, but you don't have to commit yourself to it. Marry your new story. Marry the relationship that you're manifesting. Marry that Keep your focus there. Be in your inner world. Be delusional. Because when you commit to that, when you stay on that focused state as best as possible, you don't got to be perfect and you ain't got to be there all day. But if when you commit to the new story for real commit, meaning nothing's going to make me change my mind. I don't care what the circumstances are. I know that's old story just filling up, fizzling out. I know it's my state's shifting. My 3D is shifting with my state. I am staying in the mindset that I am really the woman who has it all. And the woman who has it all, or the man who has it all, or the they who has them all, has it all, may look different to you than it looks to me. That's okay. Hence the Dream Life Challenge, which is in a video. If you wanted to know, it's in a video. Write it down. What does your dream life look like? And commit to that. And refuse to give into that 3D until that shows up. Because you and I are choosing to exist in a reality where we get exactly what we want. Not some of it, not a partial, all of it. Don't be committed to the old story. That is exactly why when creators make scary videos, they really scare you. It's because you're committed to the wrong story. When you're committed... You, you are deciding that I don't care what anybody says to me in this 3D. I'm getting what I want here. Somehow, some way, I am. I don't have to worry about the how. It's going to come because I am married to my new story and no one can break me or shake me off it. Even if I fall out of that state and feel like shit, I'll be back. I'll be back to that state. Because I am choosing every day to shift myself, get closer and closer to embodying it every day. And I'm making my dwelling state, your dominant thoughts, I'm making my dwelling state at minimum, at minimum, that I hope I'm always going to get what I want at minimum. You don't have to believe everything you're affirming for, scripting for, visualizing for. Over time, as you manifest, it will be easier for you to believe. But there is nothing that can take your manifestation from you. If you are determined to stay on your new story, whatever it is you're manifesting, nothing can stop you. Okay? And on that note, I'll see you. See you tomorrow.